Okay guys, today we're going to talk about God's ideas being whole and exactly what I mean by that. So I have a few minutes and I wanted to describe this because oftentimes people ask why do they see certain things in the world and they have trouble accepting responsibility for them and everything. So I want to explain the design in a totally different way that may help people understand exactly what I mean by that. So when I say God's ideas are whole, I mean that you are the barrier, okay? What you are seeing is your preferences on either side of the house. You have always acted as the barrier. This is what we call the veil, okay? The division between what you consider to be spiritual and what is your shadow that belongs on the other side. This design is what I'm describing. Now, I think, I hope my phone is holding up correctly and that you guys can hear me um, because I'm not sure, unfortunately, but I hope. <laughs> All right, so what I mean by God's ideas are whole is you have a full, full-on design, okay, in the sense that the debt and the debtor are whole. They belong together. You can't have one without the other. Or if you have the desire to be a hero, you must be placed in the situation where you will encounter the villain so that your actions can give you this experience. Are you with me? So when people ask questions like, what about animal cruelty? I've become vegan because of this. Um, you know, these type of questions, you know, what do you do? How do you reconcile between what is going out in the world and what is going on in general? Because it's, it's twofold. Once you understand that your inner world is the remote control, it's very different. But before you understand that, you're very confused by the fact that your reality, reality looks as real as it's going to get. It's as real as it's going to it's gonna get. This is what you are seeing. This is because of the way that the design is. You are the ultimate truth. You're the only truth in it, okay? But one serves the other. It is all whole and one is serving the other. You can't have one without the other. So although it is true, you are the absolute truth within it. Everything is equally God. Everything is equally God. However, what you see is your shadow. And the, this, this is the design of, the, of us. Hi guys, hi Sandra. Can you hear me okay? Because I think my phone says my, my phone is muted. Is my voice okay on this? Just give me a quick, Hi guys, can you hear me when I'm speaking? I just want to make sure. Hi, Jalen. Okay, you guys, so I'm saying this because I want you to understand what is going on. Let's say you have the desire to be the one that breaks the generational curse. This is your desire, okay? That means that you must enter the world where a generational curse must exist, okay? Got all that going on so that you can do this. Do you see how you're the barrier? These things, so for example, when, when vegans say I become vegan because of animal cruelty, there's no judgment here. What I'm saying is this is the solution that they're deciding to embody because of what they're seeing. But the reason they're seeing it is so that they can define themselves and how they're going to be. You are the barrier. You are the absolute truth within it. When you start embodying solutions, other people start taking notice of this. Then you, then they start doing what you're doing. The change happens. You're doing your part, but it is, it is intrinsically connected. They all belong to one another. When you understand this, the uh, beauty of what you're seeing. It's mind blowing. I'm very emotional about it because you can only understand this if you're in love with yourself. And that is that there are, 
there are going to be things that you need to face and accept of yourself in the 3D world. It is necessary for you to discover who you are. And there are going to be situations in which people are going to hurt you to your core. And it's, we can't escape this. It's how we develop compassion. It's part of the design. What you're doing is you're on the receiving end of your own actions. Welcome to whatever's happened to you. Now do something different to break the cycle because really all that we are doing is seeing ourselves. So when you understand the design, it's, it's a little different because anything that has ever, anyone that's ever hurt you, anyone that's ever done things to really, really make you think twice about your life and the, and the consequences, anyone that's ever made you question these things that, that's really, really hurt you, the reason for this is because this is the wound that is affecting the way that you see the planet. This is the wound that is affecting how everyone is acting, will act, gonna act, has acted in your life. You are the constant, okay? You have this agreement ahead of time and you have to understand the role of the villain is necessary for you to discover you're the hero. Everyone chooses the part they're gonna play, but they're choosing to play this part for you because they love you. Because if you don't realize what you are projecting, you will never realize what to correct in yourself to correct in the world. Would you understand how powerful what you are sending out is that it's determining everything you see because in truth the only thing that you're seeing in the time and space mirror is your own reflection and if you don't have self-acceptance for that you need to start there because 3d world will come up and as a favor show you what is hurting you? And here's the catch. Our ego is going to take advantage of this moment and will be tempted to make you blame them, to make you get angry. And yet the contrast must exist for you to know what you want because we, we stray so far from ourselves when we start seeking outside of ourselves that the desire pulls you back. It's got to. But you have to understand the design has to be whole. Okay? God's ideas are whole. All of this is described in the Bible. When you understand you are the light, you can understand your own shadow. It's necessary. It's a necessary part of the process. But many of us do not understand what it is that we're embodying, what it is that we're seeing. We don't understand how people are serving us. We don't understand what is happening. So we have this tendency to separate ourselves and then say, these people are accepted in, these people don't belong, these people go here, these people go there, keep my distance from this, keep my distance from that. And all in all, what you don't realize is this, this is the story that you're animating within and the ego is just shattering yourself in millions and hundreds of pieces just so you can see everything that's going on within you. It's serving you always. So our job is to understand that. Our job is to understand that, make peace with our choices, continue to embody them, continue to be the solution, but understand that the reason that you're seeing certain things is by design. It's for you to discover who you are and how to be in the world and start attracting people to your vibe in that way. But we all start shining in a more positive light when we understand why it's happening. But you don't want to get too stuck on why it's happening. So let me give you a shortcut because of you. If it's in your world, it is because of you. You are first cause. Take the shortcut. Understand there is no other cause. It's you. 
And that story is happening within. That ha that's happening in here, that narrator. And if you don't become aware of that, the world will come show you anyway. It's a mirror. So why am I telling you all this? Because we can waste our lives being upset over our circumstances, or we can start realigning towards the solution because both these things exist. All things exist. That's how you discover that you are an eternal being. All solutions exist within you. The absolute best of the 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 best that you can possibly imagine. That's God's will. It's perfect. It's pleasing. It's absolutely everything you've ever wanted. It is on the other side of the, of the direction you're facing. But you exist as the barrier. By design. If we start questioning why things are there and start realizing the design behind the scenes that they must be whole, then we can start making the flip. But if there are things that are bothering you, understand the source, you. You want to do something about it? Great. That's the reason you chose that exact specific point in time so you can do something about it. But if you're really going to do something about it, understand the story is coming from you. You are the source. God's ideas are whole. And the reason that it happened to you was so you can discover this. It's also the reason you forgive anyone that ever hurt you. You forgive all money owed to you. You forgive, you forgive, you forgive, you forgive, you forgive, you forgive. Because it's a boomerang of your own actions. Compounded over time. By the time they hit back, they hit a little different when they're happening to you. Because for most of our lives, we've been unconscious of the fact that our actions and everything that we think we're doing to another human being, we are actually doing to ourselves. That's why you forgive, because you're on the receiving end of the only first cause in existence, you. I know this is kind of deep, but I'm trying to like it, you know, and there's a few other things that I understand are going to happen, and this is what's going to keep you afraid, right? Is the idea that you are alone then. But see, that's the thing. When you realize you are God, you realize you are everything, therefore it is impossible to be alone. Impossible. You are the entire universe at once. But if you're asking yourself, why is this injustice? Why is that injustice? I'm going to break it down even deeper. Because you have wounds inside of you that need to be addressed, that need to be faced, that need to take your ass off of autopilot, that needs to make you become aware. So as a result, that is what is shown outside in varying degrees so that you can decide what you're going to do about it within yourself very useful information out there but here's a more powerful thing that God tried to tell all of us when you change your story you change what you see out there but without understanding what you're projecting you can't have any power out there you spin your wheels on a hamster wheel I told you it's the equivalent of trying to reach for a brush in the mirror that's what you do when you have an external focus that way and not understand that you're looking in the mirror. So these injustices within yourself then mirror out and magnify all over the globe so you can see yourself. That's why it hits different. That's why every person picks different causes. 
because the stuff that is hitting you is specifically what you've done to others, what you thought you were doing to others, but was only to yourself. See, all the others are the greater aspect of everything else that you are, that you're not identifying with being in the moment so that you can pretend to exist as a separate entity. You're not. But in order to do 3D life, this is what we do. We project our consciousness out, but our entire body is mental. I live in a world where I can drink some water and have my body start changing for me. It's all imaginary. But understand why you're there. Understand why the 3D is so solid. You are the ultimate truth within that. You are the light. And the story you are telling inside is what you must become aware of because that's the animating force. That is the invisible part of you that you call God, the greater aspect of yourself that animates the entire planet, the galaxy, oceans, the weather, every disaster. Your aura looks more like the northern lights on either end of the planet because that's your body too. It's all one whole thing, you. And I'm saying this because I don't want to get into the trap where people think they are better than others because they figured this out. No. If that's the case, what you're seeing is and be kind and be gentle to these people because the truth is what you're seeing is aspects of yourself that didn't know your past self on display. But when you have this understanding, you get to be the God of your reality. And that's the whole purpose. Discovering how you are God. That's how you fall in love with yourself but you fall in love with the whole thing. You no longer see a separate thing. You realize it's all one whole same thing. It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. The kingdom of God, it exists within you and it is all around you. And you'll never find it if I said to you, it's out there. No. It exists because of you. But that's how you discover you're the source of everything. Once you discover that, you stop needing things. And you start to get to work on things that matter. But first, you got to fix yourselves. Because if we take the time to look an honest look at our wounds, then we would understand why certain injustices are happening. We have to take honest look within ourselves and understand that the mirror has to show up as we are. And so if for example, you have an injustice wound. For as long as it takes for you to figure it out, you are going to see, feel, and know injustice by other people. And those people that did it to you, you owe them gratitude. I know I don't feel like it. You feel like you owe them your wrath. Okay but you're only doing it to yourself. So you gotta stop the cycle. Understand what's happening. So if that's the case, then understand you gotta forgive because those people loved you enough to wake you up. They serve you. That's God in drag, too. When you work on these things, the world outside starts to change. 
you have a different approach. Mm. What you do now counts for something. Because you're no longer being the opposing force to God's will. You know, the ultimate secret that people have to figure out <laughs> the division that they create is their own and it's imaginary. It's imaginary. You are the veil. Your beliefs, what you think is possible, what you're afraid of, this keeps you in what you consider to be a comfortable 3D box. And anyone that contradicts what's inside that 3D box, you will defend. So that creates your reality. And we're doing this consciously or unconsciously. But when I say God's ideas are whole, if you want to understand why certain things are happening in your life and why these you got to look inside of you and be willing to love yourself enough to discover that you are the reason. Make peace with that and understand that the reason that those things happened was for you to wake up and those people had to do it in order for you to snap out of it. And some of us, we took the shortcut. Now I'm giving you me. Some of us, we took the shortcut. We went straight for the worst of the worst of the worst because there's no way we would put up with it, so that would snap us out. And some of us forgot we chose that path, so we became embittered by the things that happened to us as a result. Done them both. Let me save you the trouble. You're the reason for all of it, and if you're busy blaming someone else, then understand it's besides the point, because if someone else doesn't even exist, you're talking to the mirror. The only thing on display is your experience. God's name is I am. Anything that comes after that is your choice. That's the partnership that means let us make mankind in our image. It doesn't work without you. That's the beauty of the design. And when I tell you it is the most beautiful, beautiful, most breathtaking thing you've ever seen, I mean this. And yeah, I'm looking at the same thing you guys see when you look at the external world. It's just the perception is no longer from down there inside of it. Climbed inside myself, climbed the top of that mountain, and understood the design from a whole different vantage point. And then I climbed back down the mountain, and now I'm telling you, the work is to be done in here. And that you are the reason for these things. Make peace with that. That's the only way you control the narrative. Otherwise, what happens is we are asleep to our circumstances. Okay, so we live unconsciously instead of consciously. And then we believe that circumstances are out of our control. If this is the case, understand that you're still on 3D looking at it incorrectly. The narrative, as interesting as it may be, is still made by you for you to discover who you are and every player in the book, story, movie, screen that you're watching, reading, or whatever, that is you, however you want to look at it, must exist in order for you to see everything that you are at once. You are the word. You are the narrative have a holistic view of everything that you're seeing, you will start to understand and you'll be different. This is a type of peace that transcends all understanding. When you start emanating this type of peace, 
it becomes the magnetic force that draws everyone to you. You start, your aura starts shining. You, you just become a different person because you've understood the design. Now you have peace. Now that peace is the greatest gift that you can offer mankind. It is priceless. It's true of everybody. But when I say God's ideas are whole, I mean you are the whole universe. It exists because of you, for you. We all serve one another, even when we hurt the hell out of ourselves. It had to be. There's no other way to wake up and realize it's you. But once you do, you realize you're the one. You are God. You shine different. You speak differently. You describe 3D in a whole nother way. Why? Because you understood it from the light. There is a magic that occurs when you understand that you are the light. And that's what Christ and the message of Christ is about. Because by simply declaring, I am the light of the world, and understanding that that is universally true, your life can change. Hence why the stories can save your life. When you stop making it about some imaginary God outside of you and you understand it's you, it's universally everyone, you see a different world. You go about your challenges differently. Maybe you want to clean up the environment. Great. Start by cleaning up yourself. Okay? So think about what I'm saying. Think about God's ideas being whole. Understand that you are the ultimate truth within it. And that if we can stop being angry, stop looking at something as if it's an injustice, and understand it, that it is for you to discover who you are, then you understand why. You can leave that part out and get busy refocusing ourselves towards the solution. Because when I say God's ideas are whole, I mean to say that everything already exists. There's nothing that doesn't. And that discovering that we can pull anything out of thin air, we can pull an invention out of 6,000 years in the past or in the future, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really exist, and give it to mankind, and then discover who we are because of that. You, you, you don't understand. You can use anything you want, but all of these things exist in here, not out there. Out there only serves for you to understand who you are unconscious of being. The kingdom of God is within you. You are that. Everything else that exists on the material plane is for you to discover that. Start making peace with what you're seeing. Take the micro step. Work on you. As a result, you will automatically go serve the world. But you'll no longer do it from a perspective of, I hate, judge, separate all those people that look like not me. How dare they do all these things that are horrible. Instead, you'll appreciate them for allowing you to have the experience that helps you discover who you are. You look at the planet differently. You look at animals differently. You look at yourself differently. You look at every villain in your, in your, in your story differently. 
It's, it's, it's really not a difficult concept. Everything I said is biblical. Everything. So, I hope that reaches you guys. I really want everyone to fall in love with themselves this deeply. That suddenly when you look out at the external universe, you realize, wow, it's serving me. <laughs> it exists because of me. And out of love, everything makes sense. Everything is forgiven. And you feel less guilty about being who you are. But sometimes we do feel guilty. You hit different. Be that. Be at peace with the fact that God's ideas are whole. Do not be afraid to stand up for whatever cause that you're standing up for. But do so with a loving heart, an appreciative heart, because even the contrast needs to exist for you to understand, for you to have the experience. It's the whole point, we, this is the only reason we do this. It's the only reason we decide to incarnate a body, for the sake of experience. But when we make peace with our experience, we enjoy everything. Practice this. Understand the nature of God. And I can tell you this, and then I, I've gone over, I shouldn't even be going on without, I keep talking because something good to say. I can tell you that I understand the design because The microcosm is equal to the macrocosm. And so when you see the impact you have on the entire galaxy, you do different. When you realize the whole galaxy is you, you do different. You, you are different. You're the greater aspect of yourself is on display everywhere. We appreciate every inch. We appreciate everyone in it. Think along these lines. Because when you've mastered this, you have mastered yourself. And you get to enjoy your life differently. And you make peace with your past. And you're no longer worried about what they're doing. Okay? Don't do that. The universe is set on autopilot for you, cause and effect. So your job is to worry about you and enforcing your boundaries and teaching people how to love you and doing these things in the utmost act of kindness because in truth, once you understand this, you understand everything's you and you can't escape your karma, there's no sense in doing anything but kindness, love appreciation and sharing the word and helping people understand their own power. You can't help it. So when you understand that relationship, when you understand how everything is God, it hits different. And I say this because you understand that regardless of gender, there is a counterpart energy. So Regardless of gender, I'm going to call it masculine and feminine energy. There's an exchange that happens, okay, where the masculine energy gives all power to the feminine energy, receptive. I repeat, this has nothing to do with gender. Understand the exchange of energy, okay? In essence, what happens is the receptive energy now has received this energy and has become, it has become her source of strength. His or her source, his or, ah, forgive me. 
You understand what I'm trying to say? It has become, it fills this receptive energy, okay? This exchange of power. If you understand, that's what God is doing. When God says, I am, and it doesn't work without you, and when God says, let us make mankind in our image, that's what God is doing. God is exchanging this power. It's very beautiful. So that's what all humanity is. Your reflection. Until you make peace with that, you're going to have trouble accepting it. That's only saying that you have work to do on yourself. Accept everything you are. Because everything you are is called universal experience, which is your body. And this is what's controlling the external world, how you see it. If you notice, everyone has their own thermostat, so everyone sees a different version. This multidimensional perspective is the way God sees all the time. This is you. But in your physical world, you have one perspective. Within you, you have infinite. But just that tiny perspective is still you. Make peace with this. Fall in love with everything you are. It's a shortcut. There are no victims in this world. This is an archetype. These are the constructs that we use in our mind to create the 3D structures outside of us. But if you understand how the design is made, if you understand how to use these characters, if you understand all of this, you can use these tools in your 3D world and start seeing solutions. You get to enjoy your life from an infinitely different perspective, from an extremely powerful perspective. And that perspective is the one in which you have no division between what you consider yourself to be, God, and what you consider others to be. There are no others. They are you. I hope that helps you guys. You know, I, it's taken me a while to understand all of this, but it's, it's been, the, it's been sitting there. Yes, Coral, absolutely. I am the solution. Because we're, that's it. God's ideas are whole. I'm either being the problem or I'm being the solution. You can't ride two horses at once. You got to pick one. But both must exist in order for you to choose. There, that's a good way to end this. Think of, think of the universe this way. And in the middle of these two options, you exist as the barrier so that you can choose. That's the kingdom of God. It's right there in between what you consider good and bad to be. All right, guys, I hope that helps. This is probably one of my favorite lectures so far, I think. Love you. Bye. It won't close. <laughs>